What's up, Ranger Nation, Toku Nation, and every nation in between? It's your boy JB, and I'm here today with the review for Kishu Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier Episode 3 and the episode titled The Cursed Gaze. So, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Alright, you guys, so the episode, we actually kind of picked it up where last week's left off, which was when we saw Ui. And she was, you know, recording a fight with Tiramigo and the um, Minasaur. Um, so we also saw Creon. He um, came up behind her. So Creon, he puts the slime in her mouth. Oh God! So this week she will be um, the her, the Minasaur will take a form from her. So we also see the Ryu soldiers. They're at a cave, and they're you know trying to see if the other um, Dino Knights are in the cave as well so you know asna melt and uh cole they go into the cave and tiramigo he's trying to come into the cave but he's too big to get in the cave so then cole shrinks him down to size and they all go in the cave and then there are the other um you know the other um dino knights so uh asna she names hers what did she name hers anglo rose or something like that and then you know melt sees his but Melt's uh, Dino Knight doesn't really have a connection to him because Melt, he the way he was talking to his um you know Dino Knight, it was kind of like dang man, you just talking down to him, and he's just trying to you know he he he, he could sense the disappointment from you on him, so he just basically you know turns his head and he doesn't uh, you know even look at Melt, and I'm like aww, and then you know uh, Tiramigo says you can't do that to him, you can't put him down like. You guys are supposed to be one. How are you going to be one if you're putting your little buddy down like that? Like, that's not right, man. Lift your little buddy up. Talk good to your little buddy. He's not going to want to work with you if you treat him like crap. Like, think about that. Okay, so then we see this scene with uh, Yui. She is with her dad, and her dad notices that there's something quite off about Yui. And, you know, she's kind of, he, she says that, you know, I'm just spaced out at this point because I really haven't slept. You know, um... She hasn't gotten enough sleep while she was editing her video from the day before. Um, so her dad is getting ready to head off for a trip. And, you know, she wishes him well on his trip. And then she wonders um, if she's sick. And then she gets a notification on her phone. And I'm like, what's going on with this notification that's on her phone? So then we see um, a Minosaur in the city. And then we see the Ryu soldiers. They show up and they um, change. And then they fight. And then there, um, and then we see Yui, she's there to record. And I'm like, that is so kind of irritating, just a little bit, that every time that there's a dinosaur in the city, that Yui is there to record. Like, I mean, I get that in this time, in this day and age, everything, you know, people always want to capture stuff on camera. Capture this, capture that, capture that. Like, I saw a scene, like, I saw something like this yesterday when I was on my way to the gym, and there was a really bad car accident, and there was a guy literally standing just like you he was and just recording and i'm like why would you do that that's that's inhumane to me i think just a little bit but back to the show um so then the minor story it kept saying look 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 and then we see that it turns cold into stone and i'm like oh okay interesting so then melt he protects asana he tells her not to look it look the minosaur in his eyes so then they're like, well, how can we fight it? If we can't, how can we fight something that we can't necessarily look at? Um, so then uh, we see the, uh, you know, uh, Rizzo Green and Rizzo Black. They show up and then, you know, they're attacking a monster. And then we see Creon show up with the foot soldiers. So then, um, you know, they start to fight each other. And um, the Minosaur is starting to get ready to leave. And then as it's getting ready to, to leave, we see Cole, and not Cole, we see Melt and um, Asuna. They try to go after it, but then Tank Joe shows up and he gets the best of uh, those two. So then they, um, they, do they, do they, I, they wouldn't say demorph, but I'm going to say demorph because that's what we we're used to here in uh, the U.S. So they demorph and then, um, you know, uh, T Toa and um, Bamba, they demorph. And then they ask him, so are you guys the Ryu soldiers? And then uh, Toa calls them weak. I'm like, well, God, that was rude to call them weak. So then we see Yui. Um, she is 
she passes out and her energy is just being drained. And I'm like, oh no. Well, we already knew that, that Yui was the, um, the, the Minosaur was taken from Yui. So the Minosaur is now draining Yui's energy to make itself grow, 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 grow. Okay, so then back at Yui's dad's place, we see Bamba and he turns um, Cole back into his, his state. He's not a stone anymore. And, um, you know, he sees the other two Ryu soldiers and he's like, we, which we find out then that they're brothers of each other. They're both brothers. And, you know, they tell them that, um, yeah, we're not a part of you guys' team. I don't know what you think, but yeah, we not working with you guys. So then they say that they need to find the weakness for the Minosaur. But Bamba and Toa know what the weakness of the Minosaur is. It's Yui. So then we see Bamba. He takes his sword and he goes up to um, Yui and he's going to try to, you know, finish her off. And then Cole steps in and is like, no, we're not going to do that. Like, she's she's a human. Like, she's our friend. We can't do this to her. And then, you know, they say, well, the Minus is going to continue to drain her energy until it's fully grown. And then it'll go on a rampage. Like, what's more important, you know, her or the fate of the world? And Cole basically wants to protect both Yui and, you know, the fate of the world. You know, everybody. He doesn't want to just, you know, say, hey, kill her. And we can take care, you know, and that'll take care of the Minosaur. No, he wants to protect both of them. Um, <laughs> it was so funny because Melt understood what, you know, Bamba and Toa was saying. Like, you know what? It makes sense. Like, why not just kill her? And Asa was like, no, we're not going to kill her. She's our friend. And I'm like, um, yeah, Asa, uh, uh, uh. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say kill her. But, you know, she is just a little bit annoying to me. I'm... She's not as annoying as she was in the first episode, but she's still slightly annoying. Maybe she'll, you know, kind of grow up at some point over this season. I'm hoping so. Um, so, you know, Bamba says that if the Minosaur proves to be too much for you guys, we taking her out. Like, I don't care what you say. She is going down. Dum 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 dum. All right. So then next we see uh, Yui. She's talking to her dad. She's telling him how proud of him she is of him because you know when he said that he was gonna find um, you know undiscovered dinosaurs, his peers and his colleagues laughed at him, and you know he still did it regardless of all the laughter. And her dad says that you know his peers see him as an oddball, and you know then Yui she's apologizing to him. I'm like, why is she apologizing? So then the next morning we see um, Asuna and she's calling for Yui and her desk comes down and tells her, you know, oh, she left last night. She's like, she left? He's like, yeah. So then um, in the city, we see the Minosaur is there and it is fully grown at this point. And then we see this cliff that Yui's at and she's getting ready to try to jump from it. And then Asuna, she steps in and stops her and she's like, no, you know, you can't do that. And Yui's like, how did you find me? She's like, your dad told me that, you know, you used to dig for fossils up here a lot. And she was like, yeah, you know, she, it was fun because he used to, when he used to go for the work, he, he would take her with him. And then she tells, um, you know, uh, she, um, you tells them how amazing they are and how they are righteous and how, and how they work so hard and that nothing she does amounts to very much at all. And, you know, um, and that this is all that she can do to help them if she dies. So does the Minosaur. But Asuna, you know, Asuna won't let her, you know, kill herself because you said she says that, you know, we're friends and that they will beat the Minosaur. And then we see more of Asuna, I'm not um, Asuna, but more of Yui's energy is drained. And then Asuna, she leaves to go and um, help, you know, Ko and Melp. But then we also see Toa and we see Bamba. They're um, watching um, in, in, the, in the shadows. <clears throat> and then in the city, we see the Minosaur is still turning people to stone. So then Cole calls on Tiramigo, and then they form the dra Dino Knight Rex. And then, um, you know, Milt uh, is talking to Asuna. Well, he's talking out loud. He's saying, you know, he knew that they could not fight um, that monster without actually looking at it. And then Asuna comes and she says that they need to call on their Dino Knight so that they can help. So she calls on hers, but um, Cole, I mean, not Cole, but Melt is not really wanting to call on his. And, but Asuna's like, uh, no, give me your wrist, call on him. Where is he? Come here. You know, she calls him and she, she, she begs with him to come. So then we see Creon and Creon is um, on, a, on one of the city, on, on one of the uh, buildings 
telling the Minosaur to drain more energy from uh, Yui to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, so then we see uh, Toa and we see Bamboo with Yui. They're about to kill Yui. But the only thing that stopped those two from killing her was the fact that the other two Dino Knights emerged from the uh, the cave. Yeah, if it weren't for those two Dino Knights coming out, they would have they would have offed her completely. So you know, then the other two uh, Zords, well, Mechas, they you know spring into action and they attack the monster. And you know, Asna tells them, "Hey, don't look it in the eyes. Like, don't look her in the eyes." So she wonders, what can they do? to fight this thing if they can't actually look it directly in the eyes and then Mel has an idea so he tells his um you know uh dino knight to uh cut a hole dig a hole in the ground so then it digs a hole and then um Asuna kind of you know throws up the ground and then she uh they they kind of blind the uh minosaur and then that is when they combine the mechas and they fight as one to defeat the uh minosaur so then in the last part of the episode, we see Yui, she wakes up and everyone is there. So basically her being lonely is what gave life to that Minosaur. And I was, and that was the point where I was like, I kind of, I did feel bad for her. I'm like, oh, you know, that's the reason why she acts the way that she acts because she's lonely. And I, I understood that. Well, I actually don't understand it because I have friends, but I mean, oh, well, I guess I do understand the part of being lonely because I don't have my mother is deceased so i get that part but you know a part of not having friends I, I don't get it but you know so then they wonder why when looking at the minosaur people turn to stone so then melt has um yui's phone and he shows it to ko and ko freezes and he, he passes out because it's that horrible um so then we see bamba and toa and they said that they better find their um their dino knights and that you know the other uh, three real soldiers are stronger than what they thought they were so you guys that was the episode like the video leave your comments tell me how you guys feel about um real soldier so far and i will see you guys again later for um i keep saying i'm gonna do ranger talk but i'm gonna do it i just don't you know i just don't know when i'm gonna have the time to do it but um until then see you guys later